Chevel, is one of the famous ski resorts, in the French Alps, in France. Small villages are inviting ski hungrier from all over the world. The resort center of Couchable is at 1,747 meters, or 5,732 feet. Couchable Airport is known having a very short, just 1,722 feet long runway. Moreover its runway is steeply sloped, with 18.5%. The approach, through deep valleys, is very dangerous, and requires special trained skills. On landing there is no go-round procedure. Short after the runway, there is a very steep hill. Landing aircrafts have not enough engine thrust, to gain power quickly, for jumping over hill. I started my flight at LFKX, a near, small airport, with an extreme short runway. Then I turned to north, toward point N on the LFLJ chart. Climbing up to 11,000 feet, the good sight enabled me to see soon the mountain, at point E, and Korchevel's airport. During descending, I had to reduce speed rapidly. From here, I began to train, all three possible approaches. There are three ways for an approach to the airport, and only one available chart, of the French Service Information Aeronautic. The first approach, is to come at 8,000 feet from north, over point N, and fly to southeast, toward a mountain at point E, while lowering to 7,000. The pilot is forced to fly very near to the hillside, making in last moment, a right turn, to get into a straight line to runway, at 223 degrees. This time, I decided to fly the Carry NATO E200 King Air. Carry NATO has done a great work. The plane has an accurate design, and during flight it is optimal balanced. While on approach, the speed can be reduced to 80 knots, just before you hear the stall warning alarm. With effective thrust revere, this plane can land on shortest runways. The second approach is to fly near point E, at 7,000 feet, then turn slightly to the right, in some distance from the mountain E, and fly the approach from the side. This kind of approach, enable the pilot to see the runway, all time along. But it is a very danger maneuver, because the plane must be straightened in the last moment, and as I mentioned, there is no go round. Additionally, the pilot needs good weather condition, especially low wind speed.
the runway of Korcheval, was overlaid on a slant hill. So, not only I have to land on a short runway, that is also as steeply sloped. I have to consider, that my landing will not be on a horizontal plane. The aircraft right wheel will contact first the runway, drifting the aircraft to one or another side. This occurrence, can bring the aircraft, in a very unstable dangerous situation. The only way to avoid loss of control, is to land with very low speed. The third approach for landing at Couchevel, is not marked in the chart. It is an often used approach, that I saw on videos. The approach begins at 11,000 feet, from northwest, over the mountains, at high altitude, with sight of the airport. Then, the pilot must very quickly descend to final approach, passing the hillside of mountain at point E. For these route, the pilot needs good visibility. I chose first the real weather conditions. More than half an hour, I tried to find the way down through dense clouds. In the real world I should turn, and look for another airport with clear sight to land on. Thanks for watching. If you have some questions, do not hesitate, I will be glad to get in contact.